So let's let's move on to now. I knew the next day was coming, and last year. What were you more excited for? Uh, the Schmodown Awards. Uh, the The Critics Choice Awards were, uh, were super fun. I'm glad to be a part of the the BFCA and and be, to be able to vote and, and nominate. It's, it's great. And it's a super honor, and I, and I love being part of it. And I had a great time last year, and I was excited to go this year. This year. My first choice was my wife, but she couldn't. She couldn't go um, because of kids. Kids didn't have anybody in town. So um, then last year I took Fernandez. Last year I took Fernandez. Yeah, I remember and, that. And he's out of town. He was out of town. He Would was, you have taken him again? This year I wanted to go a little different. I mean, I was gonna. I, if he, yeah, he told me he was bummed. He wanted to go again, and, and I and I also didn't think he wanted to go two years in a row. So um, sure, I would have taken him again, but. I was Spiding like, who am I going to take? I'm thinking, I was thinking of a couple different people. I was going to take you. I was going to take... But then he didn't. I was going to take Bonnie. I was going to take uh, Darina. No, then he didn't. I thought about Riley. No, then, then, then he didn't. didn't. I, talked about, I thought about Makuga. Mm, and I said, no, happen. you know what? The two best people I've ever seen in my life that can get into parties, that can do some fun stuff and have great nights. They're two people that I've, in my history so far, of being in this business. Darina and Finstock. Yes, Darina and Finstock. Darina does, does well. Those are, That's oh, what no, he yeah. she's, she's better than you. She's hot. She's, well, she's a chick. She is, is, she is can hot. We, can we talk about what okay. we're talking about okay. here? She's, she's a girl. Of course she can get, get, get into that is, that has nothing to do with it. She okay. doesn't use that at all. Okay. She doesn't use it at all. She, she's, she is great with the power of words. Yep. She has the superpower. That's always a good thing. <laughs> she's got the superpower. Which made it onto the poster behind you. Power of words. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, so, I, so anyway, but I said, I'm going to take, I'm going to take fence talk. And in my text that I told you guys <laughs> last week, it said, um, hey, I'm going to take you. Uh, don't dress like a moron. And so. I think it's a no weird shit. No weird shit. That's what it was. <laughs> it was like, don't want to dress like a weirdo. And he, so well, no. He shows up. He shows up to my house yesterday, and he's got this kimono or whatever it is. That's what he wore to my holiday it's party. The yeah. same but, thing to the Critics' <clears throat> Choice Awards <throat> as an ugly sweater party. I but, just want to be clear about and, and, that. And, but, but listen, listen. Yeah. You guys are going to be shocked at this whole story because then he he also wore it in a schmodown with no shirt on. Remember, there was, yeah. there was one of those too. So, Did what, you do you remember anything? what match? Do you remember what match that was? Um, because I'd like to bring it up in the in the background. I think I it was like a Patriots diving. thing, possibly. Oh, this is like ten Patriots match. Forget it. Uh, so did you say anything when he shows up at your house? I did. I turned. Oh, it might have been told. It might have been after Buzz. Don't. don't no, it wasn't. It was. This, it was last season. Just oh. go to sleep. Okay. It was. He shows up, and he walks in, and I go because he has a black turtleneck on, and he has Cash like man. these Gucci pants on and these shoes. Thousand bucks. And I look over, and I go, "All right." <laughs> I was. I was on board. I was on board with it. I said he even liked it. Like, he looked it, fabulous. It, it, it worked. It worked. And and I shit you not. Do you own a suit? He he wouldn't look good in a suit. I don't I don't wear suits. Yeah. Someone was talking Do about Do you own one? I have ten of them. I have like seven thousand dollars worth of suits in my house. Let me tell you something. As far as like all the people that I mentioned, all would have been great guests. I regret nothing. Oh my god. He <laughs> was Phenomenal, a phenomenal guest. I'm so mad about that. I had so much fun with this lunatic. Can you, can you tell me more? Yes. Remember we those had, two Asian guys bowed to me. Yeah, that, that is true. We walked what? in. Yes, yeah. well, that is absolutely true. We wa I'm, I'm, I, Guys, it, it is, it, I'm telling you, it was a phenomenon. When I saw, like, the, people were coming up to him every 10 minutes going, your jacket is amazing. This was the end conversation between this guy and I swear to God, I bet you this guy was, like, a legit billionaire and the guy comes up to him and he's just like oh my god this jacket is incredible and he's like where did you get it and of course the lunatic liar goes i bought it in japan he's like i lived there for like three years and the guy goes the guy goes and this is what he's telling people all night and then he goes the guy goes oh well, where in japan and he panics for a split second and he's like where god where was it he's like, tokyo <laughs> and, and the guy and then the guy he goes he goes this, he goes, this vintage 80s gucci and yeah. the guy goes, oh man! And he turns his wife's there, and he's like, oh, who's in that lovely, lovely jacket? And the and the guy turns to his wife and goes, his vintage Gucci from the eighties. <laughs> and they have this long conversation, and he's wow. like, yeah, and he's just like, what? It, I mean, it it went on. This you could take ten conversations throughout the night. Oh, he was and down the rabbit hole. It was the most entertaining shit, just telling people left and right about where he got it, who he was. He told some guy that who was the guy, the one guy that that, that when we were sitting on the on the side, and oh, who. Wait, Boots who's, Riley? No, Boots Riley he had a conversation with. <laughs> he's talking to Boots. He was wearing a bathrobe. He was wearing a bathrobe. And he, he, was like, he was like, I love, and Finstock Fin Fin goes, I love the, the, the look, Boots. And he's like, brother, I love yours. Yeah. And, like, he's talking to Spike Lee what? about the Knicks. I mean, yeah. it was incredible. I was like, look, Spike, what's the deal? The Knicks are terrible. <laughs> he did. And he's like, it's called tanking. 
And they go, you guys getting Zion Williams from Duke? He's like, it's called tanking. Yeah, then he was like fighting with Tay Diggs. And, there was and a, I, I met fighting ben, with Tay Diggs? No, for the stick in the I met, in the, in the I met Ben Stiller in the bathroom. Oh, is that true? You didn't yeah, tell me that. Yeah, I'm like, how's it going? He's like, what, me taking a pee? I'm like, yeah, you know, the whole shebang. You know, the whole shebang. <laughs> and he's like, the whole shebang. <laughs> <laughs> it is a real conversation. Yeah, hundred oh, percent. I, I can bet. I can and guarantee you. As some he of was stuff... leaving, I go squeeze it easy, man. He's like squeeze it easy. He's like what the fuck. <laughs> and he took off. And then I, see, I said the same thing to Angela Bassett. She was also in the bathroom. Squeeze it easy. Yeah. But now Squeeze. I know you're lying. That, that part was lying. It but was the, a gender neutral one. But yeah, no, you're lying. That yeah. part you're lying. Yeah, but, that's but, but he was still was the Stiller one was true. Back, you know? yeah. But he was going up. He's going up to people at the bar, and, he, and this one guy's been making him drinks, and he's like, "Hey, Poppy, how's it going?" <laughs> and the guy, and the, and the guy's like, "Hey, my my man." And he's like best friends with the guy. He's like, "Yeah, this guy takes care of me." He goes, he goes "Give me the usual." We've been there ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was incredible. It was everything that I yeah. wanted. But is, it, is it ever, for lack of better words, embarrassing? No, no. no. He, he just because it never is. because people because no. it's not. Well, one it of the, wouldn't be embarrassing for you. People but gravitate towards it, me. It, he, yes, that is true. He's, I've he's always not, seen that. He's not lying. That's the thing. If I was, there are people that I've been friends with that try to put on like a, a shtick when they're sitting with someone trying to be like really entertaining, and they're not like perfect examples. So. Perry and I, Perry, by the way, has become like my ride or die when it comes to the Christmas. She was Christmas. great last she, night. Oh, she's incredible. So she, um, her and I, are, at the end of the night, we're walking, we're walking through, we're talking to some people, and I, had, I, I ran into Ryan Coogler, who I've, I've you know, interviewed a couple times. We were kind of shooting of the shit. He's, he's, he's a good dude. I like. Yes, I was me. talking to him. He did ask for you, actually. I was talking to. Is that true? Uh, yes, and, and not ask for him. What I, I walked up when I interviewed Ryan Coogler back for the first Creed. I told him about my friend who had a Stallone mug. And he's like, well, he's got a Stallone mug? And I said, yeah, and I brought it. I brought yeah, the brought Stallone it. mug. Yeah, I brought it. the There's Stallone mug with, with me. It. And I showed him, and I said, this is my buddies. And he's like, yeah. he's like, whoa, what is that? that's that's legit. And then, like, the next night or two nights later, he went to this Creed party and met him. He's like, I'm the guy with the Stallone mug. I brought it. So I, I saw him last night. I said, I'm, I said, I'm with my friend with the Stallone mug. And he's like, he's here? And he's like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's here. He's like, where's he at? And I was like, he's running around here somewhere doing something. He's like, oh, man, tell him I said what's up. So that, that was yeah, cool. That's a good dude. Um, but Talked to I showed send you pictures to two uh, cast members from Mrs. Maisel, where I was at. So including Rachel Brosnahan, I would, Rachel Brosnahan might be the, the nicest? sweetest human. On Is that the, the girl planet. in all white? Yes, and so I went up to her at the end of the night. And I was talking Emmy, to her. Golden Globe yeah, winner, ev everything. Critics, the girl in the white. I know yeah. who she is. But I was talking to her last Sorry, night in the bathroom, and well, I wanted to let her know the thing I wanted to tell her. I said. There have been so many roles that I've seen like, just in general and that people – you hear about how cast – like this person was up for this person. I said no one else could have done what you did with this role. I said there are certain roles that people are just born for and you were born for this role. And she was – thank you. And I, and I asked her about uh, like comedy, stand-up comedy and uh, she's like I watched so much of it. I was like she watched a lot of Ali Wong. She said – I said you need to watch – Carlin at Carnegie from 1982 because Maisel's pretty. She's a little she had She hadn't watched. She, she did a little watch. Watched a little of Carlin. I said you got to watch Carlin and Carnegie. Carlin at Carnegie from 1982. And she said she was going to watch it. Whether or not she does, I have no idea. And then um, the, you should tweet at her. And I, I should. I will. tweet the link I so will. she has it. And I remembers. Will. Yeah, absolutely. 1982 was one from. And then the Michael. Give me the last name who plays her husband. Oh, Michael um, Shannon. No, no, it's not Michael no. Shannon. He's Harry's so he's so good. Oh, what's his last name? He's the one. He's got like the mole. He's brunette. Yeah, brunette. He, he plays Joel. Well, yeah, he's, 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 I'll yeah, look it up. Yeah, please. And Tony Shalhoub. Yeah, J Joel Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> That's his name. His full name is Joel. Tony, Tony Shalhoub was there. I know Michael Zegan. Michael Zegan. Thank Zegan. you. So Michael Zegan. So at the end of the night, I went up to him as well. <laughs> told, told told him how much of a fan, and he's and he's like, um, he's like, and he says to me, he's like, when are we coming on Collider? And I was like. Didn't realize you you know Clyde. Really? Like, yeah. And he's like he's like I love Clyde. He's like uh, he's like. Uh, Good I, thing we both remembered his last name just now. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Half well, my well, life. I, well, I will, but I will remember it. Um, and I'm gonna I and I'm gonna reach he's out. He's so he, talented. And he's an, another one. Those two were so nice. super nice. Just a nice kind of very gentle dude, Jersey kid, uh, and talking to him. And he's so he's in Jersey a lot of the time. So, but anyways, I'm, I'm done with that conversation. And Perry and I start walking you over. You should get him to go to New York for the for the live show. Yeah, you know, let him. Let, I, I want to get him on here first. Okay. okay. And and I was walking, then we see Diego Luna. 
And I go, I got to talk to Diego Luna about about the Wait, Star Wars you, series. Can you pause for a second and paint yeah. the scene? Because I don't really understand. You're taking pictures of all these celebrities. You're talking to all these people. Like, are Show's people, over. Are Show's you waiting over. in line no, no, to no, talk no. to these people? No, 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 Everybody's no. mingling, no, no, no. drinks. So the show, it's, thank you. I I'm, I'm just imagine people know what the hell yeah, I'm talking about. I have about. no idea what so this looks to like. Set up, to set up the, the night in general, you get there. Everybody's outside first. Tend you pick up your tickets, right? Um, and the night is just basically it's a it's a showroom with all the critics and all the celebrities who are nominated and and producers and writers and, and you and, mingle and, yeah it's and not, you just mingle it's just it's a party and it's all, not security are the celebrities no all line. like kind of sucking up to you guys because not sucking up there but they 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 want to talk they want to talk to everybody because that's who they're there for it's like if you go to the if you go to the Golden Globes you want to talk to the Associated Press if you go to the, the Critics Choice you're going to talk to the Critics Choice you know the critics so we're there during the show the show itself you first there's like this little pre thing you get some drinks. You hang out. You, you mingle with some people. So Willem Dafoe kind of come in. Some other people come in. That's when he was talking to Boots. And I did uh, t Telemundo. Remember, I did the Telemundo thing. You did do a Telemundo interview. It was amazing. <laughs> and they, <laughs> they so do good. the carpet, yeah. and you guys do the carpet, or just we do, they yeah, do we, the carpet? We walk through we the, walk carpet. the carpet, and that's when Telemundo grabbed me. Yeah, Telemundo grabbed like, them. Who are you? Yeah, and I'm like, I'm Bob Finstock. Yeah. And they're like, can you give us a thing? And I'm like, yeah, sure. What do you want me to say? And they this gave is me all like true. This, yeah. They gave me the line. I'm like, hey, this is Bob Finstock. Watch Telemundo on the Critics' Choice Awards or something like that. And she's like, beautiful jacket. I'm like, I know. Thanks. That's what. All that's true. why they got him. All true. All jacket. true. I'm going to call him out when he says lies. Yeah. That was all true. Like the, all true. the the Angela Bassett thing was false. Everything else, I can't. I cannot yeah. confirm I or I deny the uh, Benzo? Ben Stiller because that that is the first time I ever heard of that. Everything else, the conversation. I mean, I was I was present present <laughs> for a lot of these conversations that were just. I'm my, so upset. But my favorite line of the night though does not come from any of that uh, conversations that he had with anyone except me. So we were sitting down at the table. So to still paint the picture, as the show itself is going on, it's the entire ballroom. You sit at your table. They give you the food. Assigned and, like you. Yeah, all the, the table. They tell you here, here's where you sit. And we're sitting down. And then afterwards, during the break, you go up and you mingle again during the break. And then they tell everybody to sit down. And we're coming back, and so you mingle, you talk, and and all that. So this is a. We sit down. We're eating, and there was really good food. And then there's these breadsticks, and I take a bite of the breadstick, and I hear. What the fuck are you doing? And I look over. He goes, "Use the hummus, man." <laughs> <laughs> it was this little baby poo hummus thing they had, and it was fantastic because I, I ate like five breadsticks in a row because I needed to soak up like the liquor I was drinking like on a consistent basis. That guy, Poppy, kept giving me. So I mean, he was pouring the whole thing in vodka. It was great. But anyway, I'm eating. I'm like, wow, this is fantastic. But it's better with the hummus. Yeah, he yelled at me. And like, this idiot's like crunching up and like looking around. <laughs> what are you doing? And I'm like, it was delicious. You, I'm like, use the hummus. And, and I didn't, didn't do it. It's like wowzers. I didn't want it. No.